Well, hello, good morning. Welcome to work week, right? <laughs> Hopefully you had a good weekend. As we get the day started today, kind of a wash, rinse, repeat forecast from what we saw yesterday. Not much of a change actually in the forecast for the next several days, but we will start to see a little bit of a change here as we get into the latter part of the weekend next weekend. Unfortunately, because of course we've got a big old UT football game coming up here this weekend. Uh, and we're talking about some rain showers. So 89 degrees was the high yesterday. So we were at or slightly above average when it came to uh, high temperatures this past weekend. We were at 87 on Saturday, 89 degrees on Sunday. But again, generally speaking, that's uh, pretty solidly average for this time of year. Culprit, ridge of high pressure, building its way on in. Now, of course, that brought us more seasonable weather this weekend, but that's going to be responsible for bringing us a lot more heat as we head through the week this week. So your weather headlines, sunny, quiet, dry, hot, near record highs this week. Rain starts to ramp up at the end of the week. Heading in, if you're heading off to the game on Saturday, well, you'll probably need to grab some rain gear because we are talking about some scattered showers and thunderstorms at that point of the game. All right, we'll get to work with the forecast for the day today. 66 this morning, 84 degrees here this afternoon. Excuse me, by lunchtime, our goal today is going to be in the low 90s. And so we are trending a little bit above average. Average high is 88 for this time of year. Dew points will be in the 50s and low 60s. So the dew points aren't too terribly high. That's good news because that's not going to lead us to an excessive heat index value or anything like that. So we're still talking temperatures for heat index values to be close to the air temperature, but because temps are coming up, heat stress comes up just a little bit more. So if you work outside, something to kind of keep in mind. Dropping down into the mid 80s by eight o'clock tonight, uh, upper 70s by 10. But remember, I said this big ridge of high pressure is the culprit. It is going to continue to shift its way into our area. And as it does so, that's why those temperatures will reflect that. That's why temperatures will come up. Big old bubble of no trouble, sinking air. High pressure brings us the happier weather. And I guess it's pretty happy if you like the temperature trend. <laughs> but again, yes, it's going to be trending a little bit above average, but still a solid summer week ahead of us this week. We're going to have temps in the low to mid-90s. Dew points will start to climb towards the end of the weekend, the weekend as our next trough heads our way. That will allow some moisture from our south start to drift its way on in. So what does that mean? Well, that means that our heat index values <laughs> are going to be back in the upper 90s to low 100s. So yes, have we been here so far this summer? Yeah, we definitely have. But it's coming back. So hopefully you had a nice little uh, break and, had, and enjoyed the nice fallish kind of weather here this past week because it's going to be a hot week this week. Highlighting that weekend forecast, specifically partly cloudy skies, scattered showers, thunderstorms, both Saturday and Sunday. It looks like they'll start to ramp up as we get into our, I'll say, Thursday time frame. Looking ahead and beyond, above and beyond all of this, we are still talking about uh, above average temperatures through the end of the month, but then maybe the first week of September, we might start to be trending a little bit below average. Observe rainfall. Well, we haven't had a whole lot of rainfall since uh, last Tuesday. Last Monday, I should say. It's been a week since we've had any rainfall around the area. And as we look ahead, we're not looking at not a ton of rain until maybe Friday, Saturday, Sunday time frame. And it's not going to pile up to be a whole lot. So it doesn't look like it's going to be a huge drought busting type of rain. So a solid stretch of uh, dry weather conditions. And now we're still talking about some drier weather. But as we get into the first maybe week to two weeks of September, Climate Prediction Center is saying, hey, maybe we'll see an uptick in those rain chances. You can check in on the forecast every day. The East Tennessee Weather app's a free app download. Just go to your app store and search East Tennessee Weather, all one word. I'm also raising money for a great cause. The American Cancer Society, uh, we are raising money for breast cancer awareness and research right here in East Tennessee. So men do wear pink, my friends. I have a link at the top of my app and the top of uh, easttnweather.com if you so choose to help in any sort of donation you possibly can, I would greatly appreciate that. All right, have a great day. Your next weather updates later on this afternoon. Kind of boring weather, right? It's hot. It's quiet. It's dry. Enjoy the day. Enjoy the day. See you soon.